Invasive species that crept into the Great Lakes from who knows where, some someplace over in Europe, I guess. But they became in such numbers that you could catch, smell, you could almost walk on the water that they were so plentiful. When they come in at springtime, yeah. And uh, along the beach. Yeah. In an effort to, to raise some money, somebody came up with the idea of starting a smell fry okay. open to the public mm -hmm. back in 51, was it? Or? Yeah, yeah. 50, 50. And uh, first two years they went out and caught their own smell with sane nets. Okay. The nets, I, I don't know if they still do it. I think that everything is done with dip net stuff. But back in those days, one man would stay close to shore with the, the net and the other one would walk out about 30 feet. And it was shallow enough where he could, uh, he wouldn't have to go beyond uh, hip boot length uh, depth. Okay. And they would walk out, maybe go 50 or, or 100 feet along the shoreline with a net that was uh, four feet high. And then they would pull it up on shore and empty out the net. Okay. And usually with one of those swings, they would be able to get enough to fill at least a five gallon pail. Okay. And they would just keep repeating that. Uh, time after that time until they had enough smell.